गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट एडाप्टेशन टू द लोटिक हैबिटेट लोटिक हैबिटेट मींस फास्ट फ्लोइंग वाटर्स सो बेसिकली एनिमल्स हैव एडाप्टेड देमसेल्व इन ऑर्डर टू सर्वाइव द फास्ट फ्लोइंग वाटर द फास्ट फ्लोइंग वाटर हैज स्ट्रॉन्ग करेंट्स इट इज कोल्डर दैन द फ्रेश वाटर so the animals need faster movement slow metabolism smaller overall sizes etc some animals hold the rocks and some stay at the bottom of the bed for example may fly nymphs have legs adapted for gripping the rocks they have flat bodies and they are held close to the rocks so the water flows over them flatworms and snails are found clinging to the stones freshwater sponges cylindrates like hydra and the larvae of trichoptera are found permanently attached to the stones some animals use the current in order to move from one place to another for example Animals like jellyfish and plankton use currents to move around from one place to another. Some animals rely on currents to bring them nutrients they need to live. Streamlined bodies or fins help them to swim at high speed against the current. Nearly all fast swimming animals from insect larva to fish exhibit definite streamlined body streamlined body means just like the uh, spindle like body animals have good eyesight some animals have specialized body structure for example fresh water limpet has a foot that acts as a sucker and a streamlined shell to help the water flow over it Hooks and suckers are well developed in the larvae of Bibiocephala, Blepharocera and Simulium and the caddis fly Hydrocycas. Simulium larvae has a sucker at the posterior end. Larva of the Bibiocephala and Blepharocera have a row of ventral suckers. Many animals living in the streams exhibit extremely flattened body which enable them to survive under stones. Thus, the body of stone fly and may fly nymphs living in the swift water is much flatter than the body of nymphs of related species living in ponds. Some animals orient themselves upstream and swim continuously against current many stream animals have an innate inherent behavioral pattern to cling close to a surface so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video 